Hello, my name is Mike Fox and I am the architect for the Rational Reporting for Development Intelligence Project, also known as RDI. And I'm here to talk today about some of the improvements that we're making in, in the next release of RDI. So, first of all, regarding platform support, the major thing there is we will be supporting 64-bit systems, so you'll no longer need to have a 32-bit web sphere. We'll run in a true 64-bit environment. Along with that, we'll support updated versions of uh, Red Hat or SUSE Linux and AIX. We're also upgrading Cognos to use Cognos, um, their current release 10.1.1, which will replace the Cognos 8 release that was there totally, or was there previously. The other major area that I'll be focusing on in this talk is that we've totally re-engineered the whole install process to make it smoother and really follow the pattern that is used by the um, Jazz servers and the Jazz products where all the installer does is lay down the files on the disk and then there is a separate Jazz based setup application that does all of the configuration. So we'll go on and get into that. Hi, the first part of the install that's new is we have a brand new launch pad so I'll bring that up and it starts with some introductory text there's plenty of good material here about planning your installation, um, things you have to know, information you need to know or you should know before you get in to do the install. And then on the install tab here, you can start the in installation manager to actually do the install, which will lay the files down. We have the installation manager up and running and I'm not going to go through this whole thing there's just a few screens and there's really no options to it so basically you just go through it by clicking next all the way through and it will install the RDI files for you. So once you have the installation done the next step is to run the new setup application. Installer, the installer had set up a Jazz server for you and a Tomcat to run it, so we'll bring up a web browser here and navigate to the right URL. And the first thing you have to do is log in. So I'm going to use a, an account that's set up to, for this express purpose. I'll set up admin, log in. And you see the main screen here contains a couple of different options. The first one, set up rational reporting, is what you typically use to configure your system and get it going the first time. There's also a, screen, a couple screens with some post setup tasks that can do some good stuff for you to help you get the system operational or configure some things that you might want to come back to later. And we're also adding some scenarios for support for upgrades, both preparing to upgrade to a new version and then one you'd use once you have the new version going. So I'm going to start the set up for a new release and you can see the screens look just like the Jazz screen. Um, first thing you do is configure a database management system that's going to be used for your data warehouse and your Cognos content store um, which you can configure in the next two steps here. Configure the Cognos content store and all and they go on to build the application server profile that will get loaded into WebSphere um, deploy the reporting components into WebSphere and configure the authentication that you need to interact with the CLM Jazz server. So basically this is a wizard you can see you get next button so you just go through it. I've already done it so some of the values are already filled in here. So it looks like Jazz it's based on the Jazz setup process or just setup application and we hope this will be a big improvement in the usability. The other thing we've done in here that I want to mention real quickly as I wrap up is that this RDI process is now the base for Rational Insight. So Rational Insight is now an extension of RDI built right on top of it. So in effect the Insight installer installs RDI, then installs the added value components that are part of Insight, and then you'll go through a similar setup process. So on that note we can wrap up this presentation. I have a standard uh, disclosure slide I have to show at this point. And then finally thank you for watching. 
and participating in the uh, CLM beta. We hope you have a good experience with it and find and can use RRDI very effectively. Thank you. Bye.